All right, this is the second play of the AFC Championship that I really wanted to cover. This is midway through the fourth, I think a little late in the fourth, and Patrick Mahomes throws the ball, and they call pass interference on this. And I just wanted to take a look at the rules. We're going to let take a look at the play, but first let's take a look at the rules to see what pass interference is. So here's the rule for pass interference. The only thing we'll say about the definition is that the, the first sentence, it says, when any act by a player more than one yard beyond the line of scrimmage significantly hinders an eligible player's opportunity to catch the ball. There are some exceptions to this, like when the ball is tipped, that don't apply here. Now we go to Article 2. You, you can pause it and look through them all if you'd like, but the one that we're going to focus on is Item F. Hooking an opponent in an attempt to get the ball in such a manner that it causes the opponent's body to turn prior to the ball arriving. The rules analyst in the game even mentioned this exact thing. He said he's kind of looking for a turn. You know what? When you look and see the hand around the waist like that, you do want to see a significant turn as well. It's not a big foul to me, in my opinion, guys. There's some movement there, but that's not a big hook and turn, in my opinion. But let's look at the play again and see if there's anything that we can see. This is our first angle here. We can't really see much uh, because everything goes on on the other side. This is the second angle, and it's kind of the one of the two telltale ones. There is a hook behind him, and I guess you see his body turn. But I don't think that it was really the defender that made his body turn. I really think after he didn't catch the ball, he just turn to look at the ball but maybe the ref kind of saw that as the the defender making him turn just for kind of equivalency sake to see what the refs are letting go this game because of course you have refs that kind of don't call flags as they should be sometimes and they kind of let people play and this is just an example of that it, it's the same player number 21 hilton he goes up and i think right there he is hindering the receiver I think Tony probably would have caught it had he not moved Tony in the air, right? So, I mean, th this is an example of what the refs were letting go this game. So to call that on Hilton in the fourth quarter, I think is just a weird, weird call. And I think it's a really bad call. 